Israel's new ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Dannon, has delivered a strong warning to the international body amid escalating tensions with Hezbollah and concerns over Iran's nuclear ambitions. The warning comes as the UN Security Council unanimously renewed the mandate of the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, UNIFIL, for another year. In a statement to Fox News Digital, Dannon criticized the UN's failure to enforce Security Council Resolution 1701, which sought to exclude all military forces from southern Lebanon except the Lebanese army. Hezbollah took over, they controlled the region, and they made this area a hub for terrorism, Dannon said, presenting evidence of Hezbollah's rocket attacks launched from civilian areas. U.S. alternate representative for special political affairs, Robert A. Wood, echoed concerns about Hezbollah's use of Lebanese territory for attacks on Israel. Lebanon should not be a haven for terrorist organizations or a launch pad for attacks against Israel. There is no dispute that Iran, in clear violation of the arms embargo in Resolution 1701, provides Hezbollah with the majority of the rockets, missiles, and drones that are fired at Israel. And let's be clear, Israel has a right to defend itself against Hezbollah's attacks. No member of this council facing a brutal terrorist organization on its border would tolerate daily attacks and displacement of tens of thousands of its own people. The United States supports Israel's right to defend itself, and we will keep working for regional stability. Dannon also raised alarms about Iran, urging Western nations to take decisive action to prevent Tehran from achieving nuclear capabilities. Russian Deputy Permanent Representative Dmitry Polyansky supported UNIFIL's mission, but warned of escalating violence in the region, citing daily exchanges of fire and violations of Lebanese airspace by Israeli military aviation. We express our full support to UNIFIL. It plays a key stabilizing role at a time when we're seeing a dangerous spike in tensions along the Lebanon-Israel border area. Every day, we are receiving information about intensive exchange of mutual fire along the Blue Line and also violations by Israel of the airspace of Lebanon, including overflights of military aviation over Beirut in order to scare civilians. There's also a source of concern when we talk about the increasing practice of political assassinations. Lebanon's charged affair, Hadi Hachim, welcomed the Security Council's unanimous vote as a positive sign for Lebanon's stability. Danon, who replaced Gilad Erdan as Israel's permanent representative, criticized the UN for its lack of response following the October 7th attack and called for comprehensive reforms. The UN was not able to condemn October 7th. I cannot accept that, he said. He urged the US to lead efforts to reform the UN to ensure it effectively promotes global security and peace. The US, contributing over $18 billion to the UN in 2022, remains a key financial supporter of the organization. Dannon's statements reflect ongoing debates about the UN's role and effectiveness in addressing global conflicts.